uh, Ronda Rousey. Uh, uh, you might have thought that she was gone from the WWE stratosphere, but she's not because uh, she's been doing interviews. And she, Is it a book? Is that what she's doing or is it just interviews? I think it's interviews. She went live on Instagram yesterday and I, I did tune in at the last minute. It said live ended. Mm. But I was I was like, why is Ronda Rousey going live? And it said just like, I forget what it was, but just like airing grievances or something along those lines. I'm like, what? What are we doing? Yeah. So she's just going in on WWE. And I can't, it's kind of hard to say like what the purpose is. Like I'm fine with someone expressing their opinions on a company that they worked for i am fine with them telling their truth or whatever like i'm not saying that she can't be going out there and talk about how it was for her in wwe but i think it's just the unnecessary shots that she's taking at the company that gave her an opportunity to transition from ufc fighter to being a wrestler and handed her so many opportunities in big matches and championships like I just don't really understand why I, I think she's taking advantage of the negative press that's surrounding WWE right now and Vince and she's kind of trying to insert herself into the conversation but you know referring to the company as like a shit show and saying that she'll yeah, never be yeah, back yeah. and this Ooh. and that and it's just like Girl, you were kind of irrelevant when they brought you in. And it was a huge deal, you know, that they brought her in. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, bringing in Shayna. Like, it was just, like, this domino effect of, like, okay, we're doing kind of a crossover thing here of legitimate UFC fighters becoming wrestlers. And Ronda was a big name. And now she's just, like, I don't know, just biting the hand that fed her for years. and. Yet at the same time, she's got done some other wrestling shows like since she left. And I just I don't I don't get it. I don't understand the motivation. And I just think that it makes her look even worse, honestly. Way worse. It makes her look so out of touch. And actually <laughs> and- oh, petty is a good word for it. More like old timer uh Jim Cornette. Like mm-hmm. real Jim Cornette. You know, we're going to talk about this other motherfucker, but Vince Russo, Mm -hmm. like that type of vibe. And for her to say it's a shit show now and, you know, to make her comments about the Saudi stuff, like whatever, like I, 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 I'm not going to get into that. That's the own thing. Mm -hmm. But the other stuff that when it comes to the actual backstage and, you know, how things would are running right now, currently, like you're just, you're an idiot. I mean, AJ Styles literally just went on a podcast and said how, and we're going to bring him up. <laughs> like, I uh, like went on a podcast and talked about how great it is. You know what I mean? So it sounds like, like um, Richard saying, it just sounds like a bitter person who's jealous or something. Um, oh, wait, this is not, well, yeah, uh, this so, is not the one that's one you're reading. Yeah. I won't. Um, okay. You read it. You read oh, so she said, he said, Rhonda went through Vince's crazy booking and tearing up scripts before shows. Maybe she meant that was the shit show, not currently uh, the current backstage regime. And that's fine. That's why I'm saying, like, if she wants to speak fine. on that part, then that's fine. But we Go also know it. that Triple H was heavily involved in how they booked Rhonda because she he was like the big reason why she came. And so Crush. what I was referring to, Richard saying, was that he, it gives she's giving like Ryback energy there it is that's what yeah. we're referring to Ron's um comments. and that's big what it feels, ryback it feels like to me that that's what it is she's just mad that she's like her I, I think it's like her run is over and she lost the support of the fans and i think she's like taking her anger out now but if she could just self-reflect and see why the fans turned on her then i don't think she'd be as upset because can you be bothered that the people that once cheered for you and couldn't wait and like were chanting holy shit you know when you came out that they're now booing you yeah i can't imagine that that's ever really easy to 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 get used to especially being a big name in the ufc where everyone loved her but it's like your lack of effort in the craft of professional wrestling is what resulted in people turning on you it wasn't for really anything else it was because you could we, everyone could tell that you did not care you didn't care about improving you didn't care about doing anything and she just doesn't want to 
like admit that part and it's everybody oh, else's yeah. fault, you know? So I just think it's just convenient timing. Um, but yeah, I think that she probably could have gone about it a different way. And I mean, that's just not who she is. Like, so, yeah. but I just didn't like it. I don't, I, I don't think that many people really take her words as gospel anyway, but you know, it was trending on Twitter yesterday. So don't you want to just punch Ryback like once? Like if it no, was a carnival he game, it was like literally eat me alive. So no, like a car. Like, I don't even care. Like I just like he has such a punchable face. 